Let's take a look at what's new in Active Inspire 1.7. I'm Amanda Bansik Parashar, Teaching and Learning Coordinator at Springboard Media. And you can see I changed my name, I just got married. So you may have seen recently that there were some changes. Um, there was an update available. And there are some changes available. Um, let me show you where I found this information. So if you go into your file explorer, and you go to Active Inspire Software, and you click on Docs, there's an Active Inspire README text. So when you download 1.7, you'll be able to see what's new in 1.7 by clicking on that Active Inspire README. So here we go. So they updated the compatibility for Inspire to work with Active Engage version 2. And the, the licensing screen is shown less frequently on startup when you're in the trial mode or personal edition. They've also fixed some bugs, specifically that um, you can now work with Flash content more easily and Flash content employs transparency. Also, the resize and rotate options using two touch inputs now is working better than it did in the last version of Active Inspire. And the incorrect average time calculation in the level summaries for the self-paced assessments has been updated. And Excel import and export has been updated. The countdown clock has been updated to fix a bug that you'd have to re-enter it. And now the tooltips are back. You can also move objects with your arrow keys, which was gone in the last build. And now they fixed that the groups action to an object, and they corrected some translations. The other thing you're going to see that they fixed is in my Mac, now under More Tools, screen recorders back. And that's about it. Check out more information about Springboard Media at springboardmedia.com slash Promethean or send us an email at education at springboardmedia.com or follow us on Twitter at WeSawMax.